hello everyone this is Kathleen and I'm here with another video in our step-by-step -step journal decorating yeah I'm happy to show you today about how I use fibers fabric and lace in my junk journals so I because I I love texture in a junk journal and and I can achieve that easily through fibers and fabric and lace. So I, in my notebook, I just sat down and tried to write down all of the things that I, that I often do and some of the things that I typically do and some of the things that I do every now and then. I like to use the tucked fabric edge strip and fabric ruffles. So I have done a video already on how to make the fabric ruffle. I have done this previously and I won't show that to you, but I will link that video in the description box if you want to go and see how I how I make them. Um, I have decided that here on this first page, I want to use one of these, um, what I call a tucked fabric edge, and it's it's like a ruffle kind of except that it's full of tucks instead of ruffles so let me just um, glue that here in the front so let me put some glue down and then i just simply put that along the edge and and i try to overhang some so that there's a little bit of edge over here on this side also. But I, I don't want there to be a lot of overhang in this journal because I didn't, you know, I didn't leave a lot of room for that. So you can see that this is gonna push that edge on my book. That's okay, I don't mind pushing it. I don't like it to hang over a lot but but I I want it to kind of not stick out but I want it to be there when you see and and I'll show you how that looks in the end okay so I have the fabric tuck that's the first way I use fabric and the second way is um, with fabric ruffles I'm gonna come all the way to the back now and put a fabric ruffle on this back page. Just going to use this pretty blue. It's a little more subtle, I think, than the green. And just as pretty. So and then glue put it down on this this end. Okay. Now this is just a little bit long. So I'm just going to pull that until it fits. Okay, and now I have just a couple of minutes to kind of, before that glue dries, to kind of um, arrange it so that the, the ruffles are straight. Okay, that's probably just about right. Okay, so now what do I do to get the string out of there? I just cut the one end. And then I come down here and find the other knot and pull it out. And then that kind of straightens out. And then just use that ruffle down. And if I've done a good job, then things are pretty even down the length of that ruffle. That's pretty easy. Can you, can you see that? All right. I think we'll do this, this one here. And grab that knot and 
and put my hand down and just pull that thread out. And then I can come back and kind of yeah, make sure it's stuck. That's good. Yeah, I like that next to this butterfly. Yeah, I think that's good. And then I was going to do the lace on this one. That's the other thing that I like to do. Let's check off the fabric ruffles and the lace edge. I just take some of my pretty antique lace and glue it along the edge. It just makes the journal look opulent. <laughs> and that's that's what I like. I like the look of elegance and opulence. And then I'll come and trim that. And trim that. Okay. So that looks pretty from this side with this pocket, but it also looks pretty from this side as well. So then the next thing is fabric tabs. Um, yeah, we can use fabric for tabs as well as ruffles. And so for this journal, I have picked these five and I don't know if I will use that many. Maybe I will just use the three but I really liked this uh, fabric is from an upholstery sample. I want to avoid putting anything that will worry this paper. This is a really fragile paper and so I need to be careful not to put bulky things that that's gonna catch on. So this needs to maybe something like that. But the other thing is I always end up with a lot of weight down here. So there's a lot, it's bulky down here and there's less bulk up here. So I try to look for an opportunity to use tabs up at the top where it, it will seem less, it can take the weight if you know what I mean. use this side though. I like this page for journaling on. Okay, so that's another way we can use fabric in journals is with fabric tabs. And, and I will probably um, do more tabs down in here. Okay, the next, the next thing is a fabric flip put it on this side so i just have taken a regular piece of cotton fabric i've embellished it up here just a little bit and i've starched it that's why it has some body to it so all i'm going to do is just glue this with some fabric tack here what this does um, in a journal is it creates some hidden journaling. If you were to put some pictures or something, if you just wanted it to be um, not in your face, then you could put a fabric flip on it and hide that just a little bit. Then another thing that I often do is I use a fabric pocket. So this is just a piece of lace and I have cut it for a pocket. And again, I have starched it to give it a little bit of body and then it will glue easier. So I can adjust it on this short side. Sometimes I want to stretch it just a little bit. I don't want to um, warp the paper or anything but I do want the lace to lie flat. Okay, now another thing we can do with fabric is just put it on the back of some of these little embellishments. Anytime um, 
you introduce fabric, it's going to make a really nice um, texture. And I'll just leave that on there for a minute. And then another thing I like to do every now and then is emboss fabric, which you can do with just regular um, paper and fabric. And you glue the, the fabric to the paper and then send it through the embosser. And the fabric can be glued this time with, I just have used glue stick. I have a permanent glue stick. And then I put this little label on there as well. So this is boosting up our pockets. We're gonna end up with about 24 pockets. Okay, so there's the embossed fabric. So speaking of gluing fabric to paper, and um, I want to show you this little scrappy patchwork technique, which all you need is just the glue stick and, and a couple of pieces of, of little scraps of fabric. So all I do is and I have, again, starched these, so it, it's almost like just gluing paper. So I put some glue on that piece. And then I'm going to put that down on the paper. And then I'm going to glue this piece also. It just goes all the way to the edge and and then that's just gonna go kind of on top of that and then I can put something on there to embellish so I could use a sticker I could use just about anything but let me show you again um, one of the things we can use that gives us texture is lace and and I just have this little scrap leaf of lace that might work or I can just fussy cut around a lace flower or I can save that and just use a sticker or another little something like this a little paper die cut yeah, I think I'm going to do flat. This is going to be a tag, and, and so like an ephemera piece, and I don't want it to be too much bulk. So there's a nice little fabric embellished tag, and that can just slide in here. Okay, so the next thing is, I'm sorry, this video is going to go a little longer again. Um, stamped fabric patch embellishment and that's what this is so this is just a little fabric again I've starched it to give it some body and then I just have done this little embroidery around and done a stamp in the back and I do know where this is going I am I'm just gonna put it up here I'm gonna glue around that thread and that'll keep the glue from kind of showing through. That's kind of a fun thing to do. Okay, another thing. And now we're into kind of the embellishments um, is we can use like a fabric snippets, a fabric snippet roll. I, I make a lot of these little snippets. This is my little tray of snippets and I have paper clusters and then I have these little fabric snippets as well. Just something as simple as just that little piece of lace or um, I make these in the evening sometimes when I'm watching TV with my husband I'll just make a bunch of these little little things and, and then I can use them. So I can put that there. I could put it on this side, 
Yeah, I think I will put it on this side of that flip. And let that kind of hang over the edge. And as, yeah, I like that. All right, uh, lace flowers. So if you want to fussy cut lace, then you can just um, use that really anywhere in the book, uh, just as an embellishment. So let's put this one. All right, now next is a lace tag topper or embellishment. And one of the things that we like to do on uh, tags is we like at the top we like to put a little something like these ribbons or fibers um, so at the top of the tag you know you've got this space and so I just take a little bit of um, either ribbon or lace and I can pull that through there And that will also stick out. Yeah, I might trim those down just a little bit shorter, but I will do that in a moment. Okay, so we've talked about that, and you know about using strings at the top of the tag. Yeah, that's that's a pretty common thing. Fiber through the edge holes. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes with paper, we have these holes. And I one of my favorite things to do is put fiber through there. So this one I did before I bound the journal. Um, yeah, here it is there. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so I just weave up and then I turn around and weave back down in the opposite way. And then that kind of just creates just a little bit of edge. And I like using this. I have some of this vintage. It's called Siltex. I don't know what it was. It was some kind of embroidery uh, silk. And um, yeah, so that's what I use as often until I run out of it. That's what I have been using. Okay, the last thing are the fiber ta tie tags. And I think we kind of talked about that. Um, here's the ephemera that we did the other day, but it's things like this, you know, that, that, um, make the top of the tag a little more interesting and it gives you a way to, you know, pull, pull the tag out of the pocket. So that's what that means. All right. That's a lot of decorating that we did again. And, um, and it, it looks like this is going to be a really chunky journal. So I will finish. I will finish the tabs. I will um, maybe do some other little things here and there that you will be able to see during the flip through. And that is how I generally use fiber and fabric and lace in my journals. I hope that was helpful. A lot of times you run into this bias tape in thrift stores and and I sometimes will use those. Um, let me show you. Here it is on the edge, on the edge of something. I will um, do kind of fabric folded over along the edge and and this makes it pretty easy to do that. So if, if you run into this then give that a try. All right, thanks for being with me. The next video will be details, and then we'll be through. So I, once I get everything decorated, I like to go back and just kind of do a little flip through and add stamping and paint sp spatters, some of that stuff. And so we'll do that next time, and then we'll be ready for the flip through. So thanks for being with me, and I will see you again.